On Drovers TV, the Sterling Beef Profit Tracker lifting feeder margins back to break evens. A $2 per hundred cash rally helping the improving price picture. The total cost of finishing cattle last week coming in at $16.62 per head. Cow calf operators expecting to see profits of $175 per cow. And beef packers taking a little money out of the system lately, now seeing margins of $91 per head. Market watchers say cattle markets are in the midst of a major trend change. Feeder and fed cattle have rallied off summer lows, and both cattle and beef prices are showing seasonal improvements. The rally sending feeder cattle futures $15 per hundred weight higher over the past 10 days, with the August contract now trading above $150. Now those prices are helping lift many stalker cattle to a positive profit margin and giving optimism to the fall calf market. Cattle markets have gathered support from two factors improvements in the fed cattle market and lower grain prices. Pressure on the corn market helps feed yards lower their costs and it's supportive to calf and feeder cattle prices this fall. Market analysts believe the supply and demand fundamentals support a modest rally for all classes this fall as supplies slowly decline and seasonal beef demand improves. Henderson says longer term, the beef industry will remain burdened by overall increases in red meat and poultry production. Through the first six months of this year, beef production was up more than 5%. It's 6% higher than 2014. U.S. red meat exports ended the first half of 2016 on a positive note as June export values for both pork and beef were the highest of the year. The U.S. Meat Export Federation says June also marked the second consecutive month of solid year-over-year -year volume growth. June beef export volume increasing 3%. Beef values were off 10% in the first half of the year. Pork exports through June, they were up 2% compared to the first six months of a year ago. The world's largest meat processor is headed for Europe. JBS following through on plans to relocate its legal corporate headquarters from Brazil to Ireland. The $33 million asset move made attractive due to the country's tax structure. JBS says it's continuing to reorganize under the name JBS Food International, incorporated in Ireland and trading on the New York Stock Exchange. When voters in Great Britain decided to break off from the European Union, they may have had unintended consequences to a popular food dish, the politics of pork pie, next on Ag Day. Set the pulse for the beef industry and join Drover's National Panel of Beef Producers. Just text the word DROVERS to 31313 to speak up for the beef industry each month. Drover's Pulse is supported by Mariel.